Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial on dubstep song structure. Okay, so here I have a standard dubstep track. Um, this is my track. Uh, you know, it's called Epic Step, that's the working title, but um, the track is called Phoenix, it's on my channel. Um, you probably heard this before. But um, I'm going to go talk about the song structure here real quick and um, give you guys some advice on how to structure your dubstep tracks. So in dubstep, um, the rule basically goes like this. You always think in packets of 16 bars and that will make sense really quickly, uh, really soon um, when I get started here. Okay, so first section is the intro. I'm just going to put a couple of blocks in the master section here and color them so it'll make a bit more sense. The first section is the intro. In the intro, um, all you hear is basically just a couple of drums, a couple of synths, but nothing too special yet, no melody and stuff. And the intro is there to help the DJ beat match into the next song. The intro is never going to play at a club. The intro is basically just there to help the DJ, you know, get the feel of the song, beat match into it, and um, create a smooth transition. So make sure you always put some rhythm in the intro so that the DJ can beat match better. Um, all right, the intro is 16 bars, doesn't have too much, and after 16 bars we transition into the first breakdown and the build-up. So um, this is the intro here, and our transitions. And now you can hear that there's some melody, there's a couple of chord changes, maybe in a more pop step track you could add a couple of vocals. And this is 8 bars long, and now it transitions into the first build-up. So you can hear everything building up and stuff. Yeah. Wilhelm scream, drop. Alright, um, I like to do the uh, breakdown and build up in one package. So I'm just gonna color this green. Aspargus. Uh, yeah, so this is the intro, this is the breakdown and build up. And um, then at um, 55 seconds, you usually have the drop. Um, that's just fact because it's 32 bars in and the tempo is 140 so it's always got to be 55 seconds. Some dubstep tunes have a bit of a longer intro or maybe they um, do the breakdown over 16 bars and bars and then um, do the build up over 16 bars so their drop will be back here at bar 49 which will make it 122 but um, I like to do it this way so this is just my way of structuring my tracks um, but yeah and then the drop kicks in <laughs> And this drop also goes on for 16 bars, so I'm going to draw 16 bars in here and color that red for blood and destruction. And then um, after this drop, uh, you'll hear the second part of the drop, which often has a bit of a variation. Maybe another synth, well in my case it is another synth, or maybe a different pattern, a different rhythm. For example, here in this second drop, I introduce um, this synth. No, that's a sub bass, fuck. This one. So yeah, this synth isn't present in the first drop. So um, if you compare these two drops, this one goes this, this one over here goes so there's a, just a tiny variation which will um, keep it interesting for the listener. So I'll just copy this section over and um, make that one orange because it's relatively similar but it's still part of the drop. And then after 32 bars of um, sheer and utter destruction you um, proceeded to the first or the second breakdown. And in this case I um, had a bit of um, more rhythm into the breakdown so... Um, It's quite similar to this first breakdown where I had the piano. Because it introduces melody again, it introduces chord changes, and also you could put another vocal here. This is where, where another vocal would go in a pop step track. And um, 
I also grabbed a couple of synths. Of course, um, you don't have to make your breakdowns all the same, but there has to be some similarity. So if I copy this over, I'm gonna do that in Moss Green. Yes, all right. And then, um, of course, after the half uh, section here, um, another build-up follow. So you can do a typical drum roll. for Wilhelm screams and another drop. And now here's the interesting thing about this song. Most people when they do their second build up they just like to copy their first drop over and um, in this case I added this tiny uh, dance kind of thing here. <laughs> Yeah, double tempo destruction. And um, yeah, it's perfectly fine if you just copy over this drop, but I just wanted to have a little bit of variation, wanted to make something that's going to make people escalate in the club. So um, I just p uh, did this section here. So I'm just going to color that. I don't know. Steel blue. How the fuck is that steel blue? Anyway. <laughs> Okay, and then um, over here I just copied this entire drop section. This section right here, I just copy that over. So it's exactly the same as here. And then this second section is exactly the same as the second section here. And that's also very important that um, you don't give too much variety into those two sections because um, as Dodge from Dodge and Fusky said before, some people tend to um, like write an entire second track for their second drop because they think the stuff has to be very, very creative and shit. But um, if you face the facts, we're writing this for club music and DJs are not going to play an entire track from maybe they're going to fade the other track out at the drop and that's at 55 seconds and then they're not going to wait and have the second drop drop as well they're going to bring in the second track where you have the first breakdown and the second build up so um yeah don't waste too much time on a second drop and just you know maybe have some vari uh, variety i mean don't just copy it over as i did because i'm a lazy fuck but um you know, don't overwork yourself. If you get another good idea, just copy it into another song. Make two songs, release a mini EP. Okay, um, now that that's out of the way, I'm just going to copy all of these sections. So we have the tiny rave section that doesn't belong here, here. And then I just have a second drop here. And I then proceed into a breakdown and the outro. So once again, I have this breakdown. But instead um, of the bass, I introduced the piano because it's more smooth and stuff. And also after uh, 3 minutes and 40 seconds, people are going to expect the new track. So just put the piano in here. Also removed all the sub bass because um, that way it will be easier for the DJ to mix. He won't have to low cut and everything will sound much more thick and nice. And then I have the drums going to bar 147 for another 8 bars. And here everything stops. The chords play one more time and so does the piano. Now the chords get filtered down. And that's the outro. So I'm just going to put another section here. What's a good outro color? Weed. Yeah, and that was pretty much everything um, concerning dubstep song structure that came to my mind right now. Um, if you have any more questions, just post them in the comment section. And also like, favorite, subscribe and stuff, blah, 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 Dorian Code out.